Welcome to teacher vlog number seven. If you are joining us on your summer holidays, then congratulations, you made it, well done. I hope that you're enjoying your summer so far and I hope that the weather is okay because I know that right now it's kind of starting to go back to basics in the UK and hopefully the sun will last a little bit longer for when you guys break up for summer. <laughs> I've been on holiday for two weeks already, just resting up with family, but today I will be taking a trip to Chesterfield to meet up with Ryan. We have lots of things planned for our channel over the next couple of days. We are going to be meeting with the education company Twinkle, which I'm sure that you guys are probably familiar with if you're a school teacher, so we're really excited for that. And we are also going to be unboxing some parcels that have been sent to us from some education companies. That's really exciting as well because I've had them for a while and I've really wanted to open them up but I wanted to save it and do it with Ryan as well. So I'm going to take my camera with me, I'm going to travel to Manchester now with my sister, then on to Chesterfield to meet up with Ryan. So thank you so much for joining us and I hope you enjoy the teacher summer vlogs. Look who I found! Hey Ryan! <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? Where have you taken me? <laughs> this is my hometown and this is our very famous cricket spire. How did my camera make everything? It's very like, like you say, like British architecture is kind of pretty. This is quite a nice day though. This might be nice, the bar and pub. So when you were little, did you used to come here? Uh, yeah, this is where we go shopping and things. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Through this magical door. <laughs> All right, he's quite cute. What happened to his little arms? Oh, he's hmm. Ant-Man. So this Maybe. is the Ant-Man statue. <laughs> Chesterfield is famous for this as well. He's quite cute, isn't he? Cute. So this building above the Greggs is, was it one of your first jobs? Yeah, probably. One of Ryan's first jobs, he worked at Top Man and Burton, which was this big building up here. Really? Yeah. This is the first Burton's. <laughs> wow. <laughs> People that aren't from the UK won't understand what Greg's is, but it's a pretty British staple, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's really cute. Oh, it actually looks gorgeous. The cake looks amazing. He's cute. <laughs> he looks damp. <laughs> he looks like he's soggy. What flavour is he? Mm, strawberries. Oh. This looks good. Do you like your little uh, summer hangout? And we're gonna find a little study space to get some videos done and you're taller than me. <laughs> so, hard to get you. <laughs> so we're really close to where I used to study. Um, anyone watching this, I let me know. Yeah, the view from that hill is amazing. 
Yeah, I had friends who lived up there. Oh. Any teachers that are watching this, comment down below where you are going to be studying and give us a thumbs up if you are studying at Sheffield Hallam. Oh. I used to sit on here and uh, study with friends. No, maybe not study, maybe just hang out. Where's the other uni? I didn't really but it's think all... you went here. I thought you went to the other uni. No, this is my old uni. Right here. So this was where I went to uni. The Owen building, that's where we had all the lectures and seminars. When I interviewed for my teaching degree, for my teaching course, I remember being at this car park, which we're about to walk past, <laughs> and I had to go and do my teaching interview in the building next to it. And my mum came with me and she waited, I think it was about four hours. <laughs> How long was your interview? Oh, yeah, probably quite a long time. And I remember coming out and just being absolutely shattered and thinking like, I don't even know if I want to be a teacher anymore. Oh, just it's so tiring. Yep. Uh, over here we've got the Sheffield Hallam Students' Union, which is supposed to be shaped like a teapot, but I don't know if it really looks uh, like, yeah, which like a teapot. Like so do you want me to put it in as your company? Or... Yeah, do you want to put it in as four teachers? Four teachers. So Ryan and I have hired out this little um, study space room and on the listing online it said it was good for what, dealing with sensitive subjects. <laughs> it's like a little conference room uh, and they kind of sold it to us as like it's like a private workspace and it's cosy and you can use it for private conversations. <laughs> so we're having so many private conversations. <laughs> and we love this like yellow wall. All of our conversations are private. No. We just have a camera watching. <laughs> So it's very private as long as you don't put it on the internet and let everyone watch it. Right, okay, we have just um, arrived in Sheffield, which is where I went to university, and I'm going to show Ryan the little parcels that we have been sending Yay, to Yay, I'm so excited. So, um, a lot of different companies have been in touch while we've been creating our YouTube videos, and they've offered us lots of freebies and lots of gifts and goodies, so we're going to have a look at what we've got today. Yeah. Yay. Okay, so the first thing that we were sent, and actually this is in the order that we were sent them, mm -hmm. so the first thing that we were sent was from a company called Little Bits. Have a look at this. Yay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Doesn't it look amazing? Yeah, it looks so nice and colourful. Yeah. I just want to get going with it. So Ryan is super techie, and actually I'm pretty techie as well. Yeah. Like we're really into that kind of thing as teachers, so this is just a really exciting gift to be sent. We don't really know a lot about it right now. Yeah, I think I have them in my school, but I've never used them with my kids. I think we use them for like secondary kids as well, mm -hmm. so they're like little programming kits. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you a few pictures of the, what the kit contains right now. So what I can see from the back is that you can make several different games, you can code each one, all the equipment inside the box will allow you to create all of these different games. So we're gonna have a little play around and maybe we're gonna do like a little mini series where we actually put this together. So it comes with the software and it's customizable for lessons. You get video tutorials, yeah. so you can't go wrong. And it looks like you kind of use the same kit and you keep making lots of different things. Yeah. This looks awesome. Yeah, it looks amazing. Thank you very much to Little Bits for sending us this. We absolutely love it. We can't wait to get started with it. Especially, I just looked at the back. <laughs> I broke it. I just looked at the back there. Yeah. And it says one of the games is Hot Potato of Doom. So maybe we'll have a go at coding that in one of our videos. Yeah, that'll be our next big one. Yeah, so this is the first thing that we've been sent. Really excited to have a go with it. Thank you so much, Little Bits. Yay, thank you, Little Bits. I think I'm kind of worried that it looks like so techy that we might be like, ah, oh, we don't know. No, we can do it. What age does it say? No, it looks super easy. There's like lots of little guides and things. We'll be good. Does it actually have an age though? <laughs> oh no, it does. Grades three plus. Oh, we should be easy. We should be okay. <laughs> that I have been sent is some comic books from a group called Penificent and they have sent me two of their brand new comics. The company that sent me these comic books, which I've linked all down below and you can check out, they create these comic books which look really cool and are kind of engaging and look like they're just going to be about action and adventure but actually they all have quite a good like moral message and there's lots of things addressed in them that maybe you would want to talk about in a school setting but you want to make it a bit more fun. Let's have a look. Have a look. Wait, what have you got? So mine is called The Peace of War and it says a dream to live and in the picture he's looking at like this sci-fi landscape with like this factory and it's like polluting all the world but then his reflection is in the water and he's like a robot guy. If you read I think on the back page they've got like discussion questions that you can do about each one. Oh yeah. So this one here, why do you think... <gasps> <laughs> Sounds like someone was going to the bathroom. <laughs> so it's got um, these really cute characters. Yeah. 
Sorry, we just, uh, the battery crashed. <laughs> so what's yours about rain? So, my book is kind of like some sci-fi adventure story, but there's kind of a moral message to these stories. So my book is all subtitled, Can Two Wrongs Make a Right? So I guess it's kind of... Right gonna, decisions. Gonna feed you like a moral story and you have to make some decisions by the end of it. I guess the logic of these books are, you want children to read about morally correct things, you want them to learn to make the correct decisions, you want them to learn to be safe on social media. A lot of schools have a big target at the moment of trying to get like boys to read more and that can be, that's really common, I've seen that in lots of different schools. Yep. So this is the kind of thing that hopefully they would want to pick up and have a look at, and girls as well, because I would have been really into this when I was younger, I think. Yeah, definitely. I think um, these look really interesting. On the back, I'm just looking, there's so many more different ones as well that they do. Mm. Really bright, colourful ones and lots of different age groups maybe as well. Yeah. Why do you think social media can be dangerous? What drives a person to send a hurtful or threatening message online? Why is it important to learn about the past mistakes like Zach, Rexco, Blinds and Shadow did? The children could learn to like relate to these characters and you know they're very, very beautiful. And I'll put some pictures up of some of the pages now and they can really, maybe they won't even realise that they're reading about like a moral message but actually they are. They've got loads of these different books available and I will link the website down below. Let us know if you end up using them in your class because I will be trying these with my year three students in a couple of months. So I was sent this um, to my parents address because we knew that we would be in the UK and it's a company called Classroom. It's an online sharing app where you can send pictures home to families, you can communicate with families really easily, you can tell parents if the children have had an issue at school, you can say if something's gone really well at school, they can send you messages, it's like a little bit less formal than an email. But yeah, I think we call it like an e-portfolio, like I really would love to push it in my school and get yeah. us on board and try and do a little trial maybe and see yeah. how they do. But it just sounds like a great way to keep in contact with parents, make sure that kids feel like they've got an audience for their work. Thank you so much for sending these in. I don't know what they are. I mean, yeah, I mean, we've not opened it. Yeah, the lady well. that... They can't see my parents' address. The lady that I was speaking to just said, um, she was like, I'm sending you a little a goodie bag and I don't know anymore. So. Okay. Right, are you ready? Yeah. Is there one each? I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, there's Thank two. You. Hi. So we're going to open them up. We've not had a look yet. We'll oh, that's so yet. cute. I love this little drawstring bag. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Katie's got a new notebook. You got my one. Thank you wow. so much. Oh, bye. my name. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Kate, okay, we've got a note. Dear Katie, I hope these little things will find you well. Thank you so much for being part of the classroom community. Enjoy your summer in Manchester. Best Elena. Team classroom. Hashtag team classroom. Link below. Oh, that's so cute. Oh. I know you will enjoy these little classroom treats. Thank you for being part of our teacher community. Wishing you a lovely summer in Manchester. Aww, and these are just so nice. like the cutest. They've got this lovely brand image. I'll hold up their stickers as well. They're just so cute, aren't they? <laughs> oh, this is really cute. I didn't know what this was at first. This is seed paper. What seed paper? Um, so this is like a sheet of paper and you can see little dots in there. So these little seeds that have been like printed inside the leaves of paper. <laughs> you just see me like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> so it says cover these in soil and water and light every day and they will grow. I'm going to grow these in my classroom. I've kind of decided my new theme in my classroom is going to be just plants. I'm just going to have everything <laughs> When did plants. you decide that? I've decided already. <laughs> so I've asked everyone who left Hong Kong, I've asked for their plants in my classroom. I'm going to have little plants growing everywhere. So this is the first step this to make so my This is so perfect plant then. Place the seeded paper on soil, cover it with a thin layer of soil, water lightly every day. After a week, the first seeds will germinate. Well, that's a whole like lesson in itself, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's so cute. I love it. They're like, gorgeous. See, I would love to say like we'll do these as a giveaway, but I can't possibly give these away. <laughs> no, I already don't want to put them on my podcast. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but we won't be giving these away. And <laughs> we both got a brand new notebook as well from class classroom. Oh my goodness. So cute. A lot of teachers um, will kind of appreciate this sort of thing is just exactly what you want for your classroom, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much to Classroom for sending that out. We're really looking forward to having a little play with the app and maybe doing some videos about it in the future. Ryan's got a new fan. I'm really hot <laughs> to use it as my fan. But thank you, we appreciate this gift so much. Thank you so much. Ryan's really sad because he's not upgraded his um, Instagram and he can't answer any of the questions that are being sent in. Yeah, I've kind of locked myself out of my... I, I, <laughs> 
Okay, so we've just finished our live stream. We were on for how long? We were on for about an hour and a half. About an hour and a half. Sorry, we're still going. <laughs> and we have now been told that we can have a little look around this study space. So I just thought I'd bring the camera with me as well because I know there's a lot of students that go to Sheffield Hallam through our channel. And maybe we'll just show you a bit about this place and maybe you might want to use it in the future. Yeah. So let's go. And we've got Emma showing us around. Hi. Hi, Emma. Hi, Emma. Hi, Emma. Hi. 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 So it's such a privilege to be able to have a little look around. Yeah. Yeah. And look, we're on the steps. Oh yeah, it's we like, should always stream I'm not like this. Small. I mean, you're, I'm not too tall. <laughs> oh, this looks so cute. This wow. is what my classrooms look like. This... Is this going to give you some classroom inspiration, yeah, Ryan? If you guys as well, if there's any students or anything wanting to come and even use this space as well, you can come here, come and have a chat with us at the tech parks and we'll see if we can get you oh. in. Yeah, it looks great. There's meeting rooms and things if you need to use those. So we've got meeting rooms in here. Apologies, they've not been cleaned out because it's really crazy day today for the for this. Are you going to do a tour for us, Ryan? I'll just do a spin. <laughs> um, yeah, so like uh, we work in, we live in Hong Kong, and this kind of space has just started to become like hugely popular. Yeah, this would be perfect if we could use a space like this for Definitely. group work or for. Yeah. Yeah. And we have uh, a lot of people in here, but we've got a boardroom just through there. This yeah. looks like something important going on. Yeah, there's definitely something important going on. Protein and coffee. So nice. And um, and a lot of people. So cute, right? Yeah, little phone oh. groups. So if you need to make a call, uh -huh. just oh. click me on a Skype. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be right. Ryan! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Do I need a room like this? Cause... Ew. Whenever we use a study space, Ryan says I'm too loud and he's like shushing me the whole time. Yeah, like in Hong Kong, definitely. I have a loud. naturally very loud voice. <laughs> Can't help it. Any university students that are studying in Sheffield at the moment, pop on down. We're going to get like, we'll do a pop up, we'll do the website link down below. Come and use a study space like this because when I was a student, I never used stuff like this and I really, I think it would have been really productive if I'd used something like this. And also, it's right next to the student union. We can see the student union out the window. So you could have like a fun time at the union and then come and do your work. Good. Oh my goodness, it's so great yeah. to see you. Yeah. 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 So this is a bit Do you want to talk yeah, to uh, Mark was involved with Sheffield Hallam University and Actually, we worked together years ago when I was a student. We did. I was kind of hoping I might pop into you. I didn't think it would be like this. It's a bit crazy. How are we here for? Um, do you want me to stop filming? Yeah, maybe stop. Favorite building. So I can't believe Ryan just caught hey. that. You've got to be small. <laughs> I can't believe Ryan just caught that on camera, but that's one of my old university lecturers and he used to run seminars here at Sheffield Hallam University. And it's so exciting to see him in the flesh because, you know, when you study and you start learning to become a teacher, those people are very important and they're very like early connections that you made. And he's been a great contact. So he's been promoting our videos in Sheffield yeah. and with these new students and things. Yeah. So he's awesome. And I just love that I caught it on that video so and it looks like it was so fake, but it really was not fake. <laughs> that was not a set up. I can't believe we just bumped into someone that's been really influential to me and has been really helping our channel to grow. So hopefully we'll try and catch him on Friday. I think we're going to try and meet with him. But the reason why we were filming this place is because okay. this is one of the buildings that I studied at when I was at Sheffield Hallam University. I think this is kind of the main hub that I was situated in. Here's Ryan just looking uncomfortable. <laughs> So this is one of the first places that I ever did my teacher training and yeah it's just really exciting to take a little um, trip down memory lane after all these years because you know I've been teaching for five years now and it's just really exciting to see this place again so what an exciting little Sheffield journey we're having. It's so good, it's so cool. Right we're going to say goodbye to Ryan now and then we'll catch up again in the morning for our twinkle tour so hopefully we'll be sharing some of that with you guys too. Bye! Bye! <laughs> see you later! <laughs>